Hi Aquarius, welcome to your horoscope psychic tarot reading for the month of April 2019. Thank you for listening and watching. If you would like your own personal private confidential psychic tarot reading from me or an astrology birth chart reading from me, I am an astrologer as well as a psychic tarot reader, then check out my website lamartownsendtarot.com. For your own personal reading for me, make sure uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell next to the subscribe button as many times as you need to so that you get a notifi notification whenever I go live or upload a new video. Make sure you like this video, share with your friends and family, and subscribe, okay? Thank you for being here. Make sure that you also uh, check out my social media pages at Lamar Townsend is my Instagram handle and Facebook is Lamar Townsend Tarot. That's my Facebook page. So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, Saturn, 1st through 12th house, North Node, South Node, and all placements in between. Basically, if you have Aquarius in your chart, then this is for you. So let's jump right into your reading, Aquarius, and see what's in store for you guys for the month of April 2019. <clears throat> Remember, if you would like your own personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading from me, then make sure you check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. What's in store for Aquarius for the month of April 2019? What's in store for Aquarius for the month of April 2019? Sorry, I needed, needed more light. What's in store for Aquarius for the month of April 2019? I like it to be bright when I do readings. I like ambiance, darling. Ambiance. And my Mariah Carey voice. Okay. Aquarius for April 2019. Uh, here we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a focus on money, uh, specifically money uh, that involves creativity. Okay, so this could be money that, you know, comes from a hobby, a side business of some sort that starts to take over, um, that starts to become more um, prevalent, that starts to become more of a money maker for you, starts to take up a lot of your time. So it could be the way that you make money or made money shifted or has been shifting, Aquarius. I get the Knight of Swords here. But there is something about choosing a path and figuring out which path is best for you to choose. Do you get that energy as well? <clears throat> I think for a lot of you, you want to choose the path of independence. You want to choose the path of self-reliance, of being your own boss, possibly. This can also relate to relationships for some of you. Maybe some of you are contemplating single, singledom, being single, or you know, having a separation. Or it's something that involves you doing your own thing. So it could, it doesn't necessarily have to be breaking up or a separation. But maybe it's you want to go on this trip alone. You know, maybe you don't want to bring your partner with you. you kind of want to do your own solo dolo thing. Six of coins here. But there is also something about how can I make it happen without making a big scene? How can I make, how can I do this thing without it causing issues or problems? The Ace of Swords here. I think it involves having a conversation, whether this is a conversation you have to have with yourself or a conversation that you need to have with someone else. I think it starts with a conversation, Aquarius. All right. Definitely starts with a conversation. And openness, open-mindedness as well could involve the media for some of you. Social media. Maybe some of you are speaking your truth on social media. Or it could be that someone, you know, uh, speaks their truth and it's it sparks something within you. All right. But there definitely is something where the universe is giving you a push this month, especially the early like part of this month, to get out of your comfort zone in some way, Aquarius. I feel like you're being pushed to get out of your comfort zone. So don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to do things differently, okay? Okay. 
Because I feel like you're a very people person. But when you want to do something that is different from the group, I feel like sometimes it can cause an issue for you because it's like sometimes that thing that you want to do or that thing you want to pursue or that person you want to pursue, whatever the situation is, it's like it's not so easily understood. But this, whatever this is, it's a path you, you know, you're going to have to undertake on your own. It's a decision that you're going to have to make on your own. Good or bad, all right? So let's pull some clarifiers for my Aquariuses. Get some further clarification for Aquarius. Further clarification for Aquarius for the month of April 2019. Further clarification for the zodiac sign Aquarius for the month of April 2019. Here we have the hermit in the past position, which tells me that even in amongst a group of people, you've been feeling, you know, this itch, this urge to do something on your own. This isn't something that's just kind of sprung on you this month. It's This is something that's been lingering, all right? We have that ace of swords here, a decision that will need to be made this month, especially at the beginning of the month in some way, shape, or form. It could also be a decision to commit to something. I'm getting for some of you the three of swords here but i do think whatever this decision is it may cause conflict with another person or other people in your life so you know if we relate to this to the job sector it's like maybe you want to do go on your own path and you need to you know lessen your hours or you need to quit altogether but you are a valued employee you're a valued co-worker you know, so, you know, it's, it's definitely whatever this decision is, it, it involves other people, okay? But you, it's time to level up. It's time to put yourself first, to put your own goals and aspirations first, Aquarius. So I think at the end of the day, you're just going to have to do what's best for you. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign or an earth sign, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. <clears throat> Some of you could be dealing with fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Of course, others of you could also be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It can also be a mix of these energies, these elements, if you're dealing with multiple people. Like I said, for some of you, this will relate to love. For others of you, this will relate to your career. Um, but there definitely is a decision, a change, you know, that is coming for you guys. It's a necessary change in your life that will help you to grow and evolve, you know. Um, so I'm excited for you guys. I'm excited for you all. Let's pull a few more cards. Some of you also don't want something to get out, I feel like. Some of you are very secretive about a particular thing manifesting in your life and you, you don't want it to get out. So there is an element of protecting something that's sacred to you this month. Whatever that sacred thing is, that sacred person is. Like I said, it, this is a general reading, so it's going to resonate differently for all of you. But there is something about you protecting what's sacred to you. No matter what people think. Alright. 
So that's what I see for you guys for the month of April 2019. Thank you so much for doing this reading with me. Remember, if you would like your own personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading from me, I am available for bookings. LamarTownsendTarot.com is where you can purchase your reading from me. Until the next time, love and light.